Oh, right, no long poncy intro, we're already in space. I'm in my uh, Imperial Corvette, not Imperial, Federal Corvette. Uh, we are in the Mawatl uh, system, which is an Imperial system. There's a civil war going on here. I want to try out uh, this ship in the conflict zone. It's done well in uh, resource extraction sites and uh, uh, compromised nav beacons but this is the real test so let's see how it goes right I want to fight fight for the uh, Empire party so right let's see how we do who's this cut you someone's just fucking hit me Fucker uh wants his chap as soon as the uh as soon as I open fire on him. Fuck it hell. I really do need to uh get more practice in with fixed weapons. Just fucking chaffing gets on my tits off. So yes, dual class 4 beam lasers, uh, dual class 2 uh, shot cannons, single class 3 shot cannon. Uh, I've also got dual class 1 uh, missiles, basically because there's fuck all else worth putting in the class 1 slots. And that's him down. Alright, who's next? Another python who is a fair distance away, but I won't say fair distance, it's only three and a half, but getting further. Alright, what's next? Fucking asp. Fuck it, let's carry on after this cunt. Come back for the small ones. Get out of there. Getting further and further away. He doesn't seem to have launched chaff against this cunt, mind you, this cunt is barely fucking hitting. Right, here we go. No, this cunt hasn't got chaff. Fuck for that. Now let's be frank here, I'm sure plenty of you already know what weapons loadout I am using. I ask, don't fucking write down in the uh, comments what it is. Let people figure it out for themselves. There's precious little enough to do in the game. At least give people the... Uh, chance or satisfaction of uh, making their own discoveries. This is really the most powerful ship left. Fucking Ash Scout. Fucking useless piece of shit. I'm wondering why I couldn't keep the uh, Gimbal lock on him. You keep firing your missiles all your life out. They ain't gonna do fuck all. Uh, he's 
down. Another fucking ass scout. further and further away. Coven Lock 3 is a distance away. Okay, as I go after the asp, I suppose. Oh, pain in the asp. Ha 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 ha. Well, I mean, there were a couple of pythons when I first turned up, but that really does look like that's about it. I don't like firing beams from this far away, but I need to catch their attention and get them coming towards me. So, here we go. See, there's the Imperial Cutler in the uh, area, but he's on my side. And believe me, those uh, NPC Imperial Cutlers are fucking tough. But no, I have to take on Asp Explorers. Down. Who's that one who's firing at me? This one. Vulture. Not exactly uh, huge, but uh, probably the most difficult ship in the area. Again, not exactly tough. Again, my ship is freezing over. Alright, oh, that's that come down. Alright, what about this one who's behind me here? This cut. Viper, Mark 4. What do you do? Now, a lot of time in conflict zones, I do like to try and pick up uh, materials. I think in this one, I would be able to get quite a few. The thing is, because of most of the ships, if not all of them, have been pissant little things, there probably isn't that much in the way of decent materials around here anyway. Oh, there we go. Right, now this cunt is uh, firing away. These fucking burst lasers. This cunt here. Another fucking viper. Fuckers got the chap. firing away with his rail guns for fuck knows how long. And there's now stop, he's now doing absolutely fuck all. Alright, 
that's that come down. Next one is another fucking cobra. There isn't a lot out here. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, chosen a fight for the other side. I don't like going up against uh, the Empire. I'm, yeah, I know which side I'm on. That's probably saying that uh, my reputation has changed somewhere. that little defence fighter. That, I think, was one of the ones that was firing at me. There you go, you can fire at me some more now, if you want. Right, this one's elite, so this one should be a bit more of a challenge. Should be. Fucking hell. So much for the challenge. He's fucking brain dead. Fucking joking. Fuck off, you little piss at me. Go after the, uh. Target shields offline. I have to use a, uh. Shield sound bank in a moment. Problem is, I do not have a uh, any heat sinks. And what I need to do is make sure that uh, my uh, I'm able to do something about heat levels before I use them. Uh, before I use the shield cell bags. The best way of doing that is having a large ship, or at least a slow moving one. And Google Kuga is neither of those things, but I'll do it now. Let's have something decent turn up. That is not something decent, you fucking piece of shit. No wonder this lot seem to be losing this war. They don't have any decent ships of any kind. Oh, that's him. 
down. Uh, it's just kind of firing guys. This one. Oh, poison. Right, got a decent one at last. Probably is every cut in the fucking area is uh, going after him. He hasn't got a fucking prayer, this cunt. one of these fucking annoying cunty ones that has chaff all the fucking time. Try and get in quicker with the uh, shot cannons. I think they all fucking missed pretty much. So I've got two other ships firing on us, but I can tell from the damage rate that they are two pissant little fuck all nothings. Ridiculous as it is, this is the second most powerful ship I've faced since I've been out here. seen an enemy uh, cutter out there. In which case that's definitely what I want to go for. Just finish off this cunt and then uh, go after him. Oh, for fuck's sake. You better fucking finish him off. Yep, enemy Imperial cutter. Now the shields on these fuckers are immense. So, and he's got fucking chaff. So, this should be uh, interesting. It is quite handy that I now have lasers that pretty much don't overheat. Not only that, <laughs> they uh, don't even uh, run out of power. I see shields down. The starting fucking chapping. This has been by far the easiest cutter I've taken on. And that's thanks entirely to the uh, weapons loadout. That I have, not that he has.
again, no problem with heat from the uh, short cell bank. Definitely got that uh, sussed. Can't even have any problems from the uh, uh, shot cannons, and they give off a huge amount of heat. I want to check out what uh, materials he drops. There's a lot of the usual stuff that you get at complex zones, but actually not much that I would really want. Well, actually, I'll tell you, there is stuff that I want, but there, there's nothing there that is really a priority, so fuck it, we'll come back to uh, fighting whatever's left. Now that some decent ships are finally showing up. It's only a competent. Getting further away again. down and my heat was at zero. Uh, right, I guess it would help if we actually got back to the uh, conflict zone now. So he may be elite in terms of uh, combat ability, but he's not elite in terms of brain power. Target shields offline. out against a Fed Corvette and Imperial Cutter. Yeah, I wonder how the outcome of that would be. Oh, looks like he's, uh, he's lost. Yeah, that's that come down. Next. Okay, now it looks like Imperial Eagle is the only enemy ship left. Okay, it's the only one that's in range anyway. It's got to be something better than this. It's hard to be worse. Yeah, okay, Imperial Eagle was not what I had in mind. Uh, Vulture, oh, no, that looks better. Type 9, I'm not fucking missing out on this. I keep on saying it and I still, if I never turn down the opportunity to destroy Type 9s. You're mine, you fucking fat, useless cunt. I think this one's called Daddy 07. What kind of fucking idiot would bring a Type 9 into a conflict zone? Now 
And that's him down. And there's another enemy cutter. So before we start to uh, open fire. Oh fuck it, no. Under attack. There you go, that certainly caught his attention. Now these fuckers always have shield uh, cell banks. And they always of course have a class 8 shield generator anyway. So Getting this fucker's shields down is going to take some doing. Especially as it looks like I'm taking him on single handedly. Which as soon as I say that, that shot came from nowhere. See again, he's using his fucking uh, shield cell bank. So at the moment, all I am doing is trying to neutralise his shield cell banks. See, look, his shields are now stronger than when I started on him. This is what happens so many times when you're taking on the uh, Imperial Cutters. And now again, he'll use his short cell bank. Or not. He must be out of shield cell uh, bank charge. Yep, yeah, right, that's it. Shield cell, or shield uh, generator down. We haven't reload. There you go. Not quite how I planned it. I didn't mean to uh, fucking have him ram me. And I didn't even attempt to move out of the way. Again, lots of like fairly good uh, materials, but. All a bit. Uh, well, at the moment. Nothing worth ignoring the enemy ships for. Target shields offline. Four pips and engines, and only two in weapons, means that uh, the weapons bar does now drop. But my shields are a bit stronger because they are weakening a bit. And I need to be attacking another ship before I can use my uh, shield cell banks. I'm not even sure how many chances I've got left in the uh, shield cell banks. It can't be many. fucking chapping as well. Seems to have some pretty strong armor.
starting to really fucking hate chat. Again, you haven't got too long to go. And that's that cut down. Alright, who's next? Master Explorer. How much have I made? Over a million. Just had those crappy uh, shield cycle uh, data that are worthless. What the fucking hell is a neutral doing in the area? That's an NPC, it's not a, a player. too good by the looks of it, so uh, I don't think he's going to hang around for long, but he is by far the most powerful ship here, even with only 21% hull and going down. I've got the combat mod. I mean, now that it's only like the couriers and what's this, a viper, and uh, yeah, so there's fuck all around here. Um, I can't be asked to pick up any uh, materials, so let's piss off then, dock at the nearest place. I think uh, I can safely put that down as a successful conflict zone test, especially as I was able to take out two uh, Imperial Cutters there. I mean, it, it does certainly help that uh, yeah, my shield health, 1922, Kinetic resistance is the lowest resistance I have on my shields, and that's at 64.5. So yeah, they all certainly uh, go some way towards uh, why I was able to last so long. I think I can also quite safely say that the weapons loadout is working uh, just fine. In fact, I was a bit over-optimistic, I think, because uh, I thought I would absolutely walk it. it I mean, all right, it wasn't like I was in any huge fucking amount of grief. I, my hull is still 100%. But I genuinely thought it would be easier than that. <coughs> Tell you one thing, my uh, Corvette does look well, fucking horrible. 
I got a paint job for it that, uh, yeah, it just looks, whoever came up with this colour combination, I can only hope it's colour blind, but uh, it's the reason I went for it, because it just looks so terrible. So uh, once we dock, I'll uh, let you see it in all its glory. <laughs> Hopefully this uh, civil war will still be going on, and this will be where I bring my next ship. My cor uh, corvette, I'm in the fucking corvette, my cutter is not very far from here. So, that could well be the next ship that I bring. Landing gear deployed. I do know that I won't be bringing or uh, finishing off ships quite as quickly in the cutter as I have been in this. Okay. Knew I'd get there eventually. So there you go, 1,182,200 credits in uh, that uh, conflict zone, not bad. So it takes me up to 2,036,591,811 2 uh, credits. Alright, that's that one then. Uh, yeah, I will decide what the next ship will be. Uh, so this is going to be one of three supposedly short videos showing three particular ships in combat so we had the corvette uh, the other two will be the uh the cutter and the uh, uh the crite so yeah that's that one done now go away